So everyone's been talking lately about DeepSeek. And we know it's open source and you can download the models locally and use them. And you know I love to run LLMs locally. Can it run on something like this? A little Raspberry Pi? I had to find out. I was asked this question twice recently, which is apparently the number of times I'm asked before I make a video. Let's see if it works. I have here a Raspberry Pi 5, brand new, and this is the 16 gig version. Later in the video, I'll tell you whether you need all those 16 gigs or not. So with the Raspberry Pi all configured and fired up, let's jump in and see if we can run DeepSeek R1 models on a Raspberry Pi. I'm Jeremy Morgan, and you're gonna learn something about AI today. Okay, so I've got my brand new Raspberry Pi 5 set up. Um, it's updated, ready to go. And as a note, I'm using the latest and greatest Raspberry Pi right now, and that's the one with 16 gigs of RAM. We've got four CPUs at 2.4 gigahertz. I think this is going to be enough to run DeepSeek models. Maybe even run it well. <laughs> Let's see. Now, one of the first things I wanna do is install Remote Desktop on here because I wanna be able to remote desktop in and do some visual stuff. So I'm gonna type in sudo apt-get install xrdp, sudo systemctl start xrdp, and then enable. And this will make it so that we can remote desktop into the machine at any time. And I'm gonna do sudo raspy config. We're gonna go in here, update the tool to the latest version. Okay, and then we'll go into system options. And in here, boot auto login. We wanna make sure B3 is selected, which is desktop GUI requiring user to log in. And we'll go ahead and reboot. And we can see we have the desktop available, which is great. Okay, perfect. Now, what we're gonna use for this is Olama. So let's open up our web browser. And it looks like our web browser is not having a great time right now. Let's try Firefox. It looks like Firefox is not having a great time right now. So easy enough, we'll go uh, outside this app. If we're gonna go to olama.com, we'll go to download, Linux, and we'll download Olama for ARM64. Okay, and while that is going, we're gonna exit full screen. We're gonna go over here to Models, DeepSeek R1, and we're going to try the 1.5 billion parameter model. So we'll just copy that, and then we'll jump back into our screen. Okay, now notice here, it says no NVIDIA AMD GPU detected. So Olama will run in CPU only mode. That's totally to be expected. I know that there's no GPU on here, um, but I have run models before. So let's see if Olama's running. We'll do Olama list. You can see we have nothing. We'll paste in the DeepSeek R1 1.5 billion parameter model. And this might take a little while to download. Okay, and it looks like it does load up. So I'll say, tell me a funny joke about Python. And there's our thinking process. So to answer your question, will DeepSeek run on a Raspberry Pi? The answer is yes. But how fast and how big of a model can we go with? This is a 1.5 billion parameter model, which is tiny tiny, tiny in the scheme of large language models. So we can try to do a 7 billion parameter model. I think that's going to be very slow, but we're gonna try it out anyway. And we're gonna try putting an application on this thing that uses this. And this is one that I built in a previous YouTube video. We're gonna try to put that on here and see how it runs. Now, one thing I'm gonna do here is we will run this in verbose mode and say, tell me a funny joke about Python, just to see how many tokens a second this thing puts out. Now, as you can see, it's going through this thinking process. This is part of what the DeepSeek model does, is it does this thinking where it goes through and 
thinks out the answer before it spits it out, and that's part of the appeal of this thing. Now, one thing we can do is we can check our system settings here. Check Task Manager. We can see how much CPU we're using, how much memory. We're actually not using much memory. So with this 1.5 billion parameter model, we can see that we're only using about three gigs of RAM. So this will run on the eight gig version too. You can also see that the CPU usage is pretty much maxed at 99%. Um, that is something that's pretty much to be expected. So I think the big limitation with the seven billion parameter model, whether or not it runs will be memory and we will find out. All right, so we do have a terrible Python joke generated here, and our eval rate is 6.12 tokens a second, which is not fast. That's not fast enough for real-time chat. That's not really fast enough for good usability in a question answer model, like if you're using this thing for coding or something like that. But, I mean, it's it's there, it runs. They, the, you know, the question that we had in the beginning is, will DeepSeek run on a Raspberry Pi? The answer is yes. How well is a different question. Now we can see we have several different models here. The next one up is 7 billion parameters. So I say we try to run a 7 billion parameter model. Why not? So I'm going to just type this in. And then we'll go and grab a beverage of our choice and uh, be back when it loads. Okay, so the 7 billion parameter model did run. And as we can see, we're now using quite a bit more RAM. We're using uh, six gigs of RAM here. So that means the four gig obviously isn't going to run it. I'm gonna say, tell me a funny joke about Python. We're just gonna do the exact same prompt. And then we're gonna pack a lunch and wait for this thing to finish. Notice here we're running at 100% CPU usage, GPU usage of 2%. That's because this GPU is not compatible with Olama. It's not a GPU like an AMD or a NVIDIA type. And we can see it's kind of chugging along. Okay, so we have a ridiculously bad Python joke here, why did the snake go see a programmer? Because they wanted to get out of Python and do some JavaScript. Took five minutes to generate that at 1.43 tokens a second. Not really acceptable for anything. But let's try a real application on here. So last week, I built a YouTube video about how to build an application that uses DeepSeek R1. Let's put that application on here. It's a Vue.js app and it uses Olama. Let's see if that runs and see if it's like slow and terrible or if it's decent and usable. And we'll run that with the 1.5 billion parameter version since we can see that this 7 billion parameter is just way too slow. So I'm gonna do the DeepSeek chat demo that I built on a previous YouTube video last week. And I'm gonna take this and see if we can get this to run on a Raspberry Pi just to kind of see what the speed is like. It's available at the following URL. Okay, so I have my application here. I'm gonna do docker compose up dash dash build. And we're going to build a Docker container. Now I can see here, I've got a couple of error messages that uh, doesn't look like a great sign let's check out our application here. Python, it's thinking, which means it did connect to the Olama server. And I'm going to speed this up, of course. And here we go. Now we've got it. Sure, here's a fun joke about Python. Why don't you take a Python class? Because every time you use it, the code gets more Pythonic. Yeesh. And look at that. Pretty good thought process there. 
So, not bad, right? Let's say I am preparing for a hike. What should I bring? So, I mean, this is slow, but it's usable. And that was pretty much the question that we had all along. Is it possible to run DeepSeek on a Raspberry Pi? And the answer is yes. If you're using a 1.5 billion parameter model, which is a distilled Quen model, um, this isn't the big deep seek that everybody's talking about online. These are distilled models. But if you run the 1.5 model, I would say, yes, you can run this as an application, albeit very slow. Okay, so that worked great. I mean, a little slow, but it's possible. But wait, there's more. I have a cluster of Raspberry Pis, four Raspberry Pi 5s all tied together. Now, they're operating in a Kubernetes cluster, and they really only run one workload at a time. But these are 8 gig Raspberry Pi 5s instead of 16 gig. So will it run? Let's find out. So I'm on my control plane here. I'm going to put together some YAML. We're going to make sure that all four Pis run. We're going to call this DeepSeek Chat. And I'm going to pull that down from that uh, Docker image that I have on Docker Hub. Container port. I'm not sure why I put 8080. It's 80. This should work. And we can see our containers being created here. There we go. Now we're up and running. Okay, and I had to make a few tweaks to this to make it work. But let's check it out. This is DeepSeek R1 running on my Raspberry Pi cluster. What are some ways I can check the weather? And this isn't any faster uh, doing it this way. Even though I've got it clustered and no load balanced between four pies, it's still really only using one pie to do this. But I just wanted to try it out. And here we go. To get real-time weather information, you can use weather apps, weather app, etc. So yes, it does run on the cluster, meaning you don't need a full 16 gig Raspberry Pi. You could get away with an eight, maybe even a four. Now these are with the 1.5 billion parameter models. They aren't very big, so they're faster, but they aren't very detailed either. I just wanted to see if the DeepSeek R1 models would run on a Raspberry Pi, and the answer is yes. Sort of, slowly. I'll keep playing around with models and tuning and see how we can get the most out of running LLMs on a Raspberry Pi. Subscribe to my channel if you're into this sort of thing. And thank you for watching.